Davis inherited the Raiders from his father, Al Davis, and in turn most of his personal fortune. And Al Davis has one of the most interesting stories for any owner in the history of sports. While doing military service, he was coaching football in the Army, and he was selling scouting information on his players to NFL teams. One of the NFL executives that contacted him was Pete Rozelle. In 1960, Pete Rozelle was named the commissioner of the NFL at just the age of 33. Then, in 1963, Al Davis was named the coach and general manager of the Oakland Raiders of the AFL. However, in 1966, Al Davis was named the commissioner of the AFL and began negotiating an AFL-NFL merger with Pete Rozelle. But before he could see that through, a deal that occurred in 1970, the owner of the Raiders wanted Davis back to run his team, so he offered him a 10% franchise stake, which he took. Then over the course of years, he slowly started acquiring more equity until 2005 when he finally got a majority stake. When he died in 2011, the Raiders were valued at $750 million. Today, they are worth $6 billion.